There are two statements that describe the second law of thermodynamics. The first one is the Kelvin plane statement. It states that it is impossible for, for any device that works on a cyclic system to convert heat energy into net amount of work. The second one is the Clausius statement. It states that it is impossible for energy transfer to occur in any system from a cold body to a hot body. These two systems are applied in the concept of Carnot cycle, which is proposed by Sadi Carnot in 1824. The theoretical heat engine that operates on Carnot cycle is called the Carnot heat engine. Carnot cycle, Carnot cycle is composed of four reversible processes, which comprise of two isothermal and two adiabatic. These processes can be executed on a closed or a steady, steady flow system. The maximum efficiency of any system can be determined by assuming that the system operates on a Carnot cycle. Excuse me? Yes? I need your help. Sure. Actually, I'm a bit stressed out because my boss has assigned me to solve the problem of the nuclear reactor. And I only got one week for that. Can you imagine? I need to make sure the heat engine works at the best efficiency. And you know the risk of handling the equipment right. The radioactivity can take my life. I see. I suggest that you use the concept of thermodynamics. In this case, you can use the Carnot heat engine application inside the law. By using this, you can determine the efficiency by manipulating the known variables. Oh, is that simple? Then what should I do? Well, let's take a look at what we have. The nuclear power plant has pressurized water at 300 degrees Celsius. Later, the steam from the steam generator will go to turbine and will be condensed again to water at 27 degrees Celsius. Later, it will be heated up again to undergo cycle motion. Since we have both hot and cold reservoir temperatures, you can determine the efficiency by using the equation of efficiency. Now, it is up to you to determine the efficiency of the heat engine by manipulating the variables. Yeah, now I get the idea on how to solve the problem. Basically, I have the peak hot and peak cold temperature which is 300 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius. And then, I can convert it into Kelvin which gives me 573 Kelvin and 300 Kelvin. Now, I just use the formula of efficiency, which is 1 minus P hot over P cold, and then can directly give me the value of efficiency. 
Wow, this is very simple. I can solve the problem easily. Thank you so much, Tomo Dynamic. Yes, you are right. It's just a concept. Now you can see the importance of thermodynamic to us as chemical engineers in work. Other than less time is consumed, the cost of operation can also be reduced while avoiding risky actions that may lead to accidents. Thermodynamics for chemical engineers as well for human beings. The efficiency equation has helped the chemical engineers as well as the human being to reduce the cost, energy and time consumed but it will produce at the maximum rate. The efficiency equation also has helped the chemical engineers to deal with the dangers of nuclear plant. As we know, the nuclear plant is the very dangerous thing in the world. Next, when we are talking about the nuclear plant, actually the power production of nuclear plant is the better rather than dam and also biomass production. For the dam production, or, the, or we call as dam power generation, it will affect the ecosystem of water where it will affect the population of fish, the seaweed and another living thing in the water. And for the biomass production, it will cause the air pollution as well. It will cause the water pollution to the surrounding. So, as a conclusion, what we can see is thermodynamic is a very important thing for chemical engineer as well for human beings. The of thermodynamics is very long. If you want to mention the individual application, this can be infinite. As you can see from the overall study that we have done, thermodynamic is an essential knowledge that all the chemical engineers should have for their career and life. In addition, the thermodynamic concept has been utilized in a variety of disciplines with interests of environmental sustainability, including ecology, economy, and engineering. Therefore, the thermodynamic is considered to be one of the most important parts of daily life. When you are watching television, sitting in air conditioned room, car engineer, automobile, and many more, everything around us use the concept of thermodynamic. It involves the study of infinite universe and indeed infinite application. No other field of study is as closely associated to the human life as thermodynamic. For us, the study of thermodynamic is a path of salvation. <laughs>